Hey everyone, Adam Shar here from Bavaro Media Company. Today I have another vintage map for you guys. It is a bird's eye perspective of Seattle, Washington that was originally produced in 1878. As you can see, it is a bird's eye perspective map in that it's a three-dimensional representation of the Seattle, Washington area. With that, we get a 3D representation. We get to see changes in elevation. We get to see vegetation. We get to see building architecture. We get to see ships in the harbor. As you can see, this is the early infancy of the city of Seattle. So we're going to kind of explore and examine this old map uh, that was originally pr produced in 1878. We can just see how cozy the city of Seattle was uh, back in 1878. I mean, not anywhere near the size as it is today. We can see how cozy it was. I mean, the really built-up area is is right here uh, on the on this uh, essentially on this uh, delta area of of uh, of Seattle. If we look off in the outskirts, we just see lots of wooded areas with some sparse houses. Uh, throughout what I really like about this map in particular is I mean the level of detail in the foreground with the ship the river boats and the ships uh, really amazing uh, to the point where we actually get ship names on the side of a JB Libby right there uh, I also like this the detail on this pier uh, with a rail car going down uh, from the shipping docks the logging uh, right here uh, pretty cool. I did some research uh, and uh, found out what these. I've looked at this map previously and I found out uh, what we have labeled buildings right here uh, throughout this map. And I looked at a couple of them. There's not a lot of uh, labeled areas compared to other bird's eye perspective, perspective maps, but uh, this one has up to 20 and certainly uh, some notable uh, locations. Uh, for example, Right here, we've got a University Hall right here by Seneca Street and Union Street. We can see it's one, I think it's the largest building on this map, as we can see right over here. I think it's the largest building. You might have some competitors right here, but this is the largest building uh, on this map. And let's see, what else did I find? I found a interesting uh, building. A y YMCA rooms. I didn't even know that the YMCA existed back in 1878. I, is the, I'm going to ask people out there, do, are you aware of this, that the YMCA existed? Because it's. I don't know if this is the same YMCA, but we've got YMCA rooms right here. 14, right here, right along by the docks. I think that's interesting. Uh, I haven't seen that before. Uh, I'd like to get some clarification what what everyone thinks out there. I found that. I, I, I just uh, discovered that. Uh, if we look at some of the other labeled buildings we're going to do, let's see. found a gas works right here, uh, a uh, industry plant right here, uh, and very close to Main Street, right along the the coastal area. What else did we find? Uh, the lakes... We've got Lake Washington way off in the distance. Is that 19? Yes. We've got Lake Washington way off in the distance. We've got the Cascade Mountains. I checked that labeled right there. The Cascade Mountains labeled. Lake Union. I love the little freaking boat right out off in the distance. It's so crisp and beautiful. Same with over here. It just it, the, it lends a great perspective to this map. And... Let's see, what else did we find? We I found the fire engine house. Let's see if I can, right here. Yep, right here, uh, close to the water uh, by Front Street and by Cherry Street. Uh, this was a firehouse right here. What else did we find? Uh, I looked on this map. I mean, finding these numbers is really hard. Sometimes they're pretty obvious, but sometimes they're written on the side of buildings and are incredibly hard to find uh, just because of there's so much going on in, uh, on these maps. 10, let's discover what 10 is. It's a high school. 
high school right there. See, I just almost lost it. 10 right here by Spring Street. So, I mean, uh, a good amount of locations labeled. I mean, we've got horse and buggies and people on the street. That's a wonderful details. I love the docks. Um, here's another dock, some ships. We've got the wharf labeled right here. SGT and Coal Wharf. I guess they're transporting coal by, I guess this is a rail, yeah, this is a railroad. Yep, I followed it. This is a railway that would come down here to the docks and transport coal by ship. Pretty cool. So, uh, pretty cool map that we have. Uh, this is not the only Seattle video uh, that we explore. Uh, I'm going to provide a link to that video in the description. You can check that video out as well. Uh, Definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do videos like these all the time where we investigate maps of Seattle, maps of Washington State, of the Puget Sound, uh, of different cities throughout the United States, old world maps. We cover a lot of history as well as a lot of cartography. So if you like that, definitely subscribe to us. Comment on this video. Like this video. If you like this print, we also sell this on a customizable poster print on our online store. I'll provide a link in the description. You can click on that. Uh, and check that out. You can customize it and do whatever you like. If, you, if you're decorating a home or an office or a study, uh, definitely check out that link. Uh, also check out and put another link down there uh, or on our channel page. We're, we're just starting to do Instagram, uh, and we really, really like the platform sharing uh, these vintage maps as well as some of the decorative items uh, that we produce. So definitely check out our Instagram either on our channel page or in a link in the description below. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment, like this video, share this video, and I will see you guys soon. Okay, take care. All right, bye.